Yeah, my name is Tom Demarest. I drifted in this way in about 1951. You wouldn't think I was only 35, would you? Well, so in 1960, I got myself a brand new wheelbarrow, brand new hammer, and a good shovel. And we started building. Because I told them from day one, you're not talking to an interior decorator. Uh, my job was to build, and that's what I did. I think that anybody that has a chance to see these mountains and to participate in either fishing or boating or anything else, I think it's a great opportunity. I think we'd probably all be a little bit shocked for, to find out how many Americans really know a country like this exists. You know, they talk about going to Europe and every place else, but how many of them have really seen America? And a uh, guest ranch is an excellent way to see it the way it should be seen. Cowboy Curtis from San Francisco, California, and I uh, cook breakfast, lunches, and dinners. Uh, my favorite is dinners. Chefing at the ranch is entertaining the guests, uh, making sure that I listen to what their requests are and what kind of flavors that they like. A lot of people may not like garlic or cilantro, so you get to play with that. You get vegan and gluten-free people come in, so you have to make sure that you have things for them. And that's exciting for me to be able to figure out those puzzles. Uh, but generally, they just want a good meal, and I enjoy just being here interacting with the guests. <laughs> this is rhubarb pie. The rhubarb was picked this morning um, from the garden of the um, forest service over there. Uh, they have a beautiful patch of it. And so Linda and I went over and we picked it.
are. They're like people. They all have different personalities. Sonny's one of our best guide horses. He's really honest and sound. They actually use him for um, our hunting trips as well. So we'll go out and camp for a week or two and stay out in the woods. And he either ties or stays in a little corral. It's really good. We have um, Buckskin Dunn in there. His name's Billy. And a gentleman actually shot a wolf off him at a dead run a few years ago. We didn't get it on film, but he tells a story every time he comes to visit. It's pretty cool. And uh, Gemini right here behind us, he's one of our lead horses as well. He's got kind of a quirky personality. He loves to be in front. God forbid you put him in back, he'll fight you the whole way. He does not like being in back. But I'd say Sony's probably my favorite. really good guide horse. He loves to lead. Um, if you have him, have him in the back of the pack, he, he definitely tries to walk out and pass other horses. Um, he's a really good one. Though. He's really good for wrangling. Yeah. One of my favorites. My name is Kara Demarest Williams, and uh, my grandfather bought this place in 1951, the Diamond D Ranch, and um, started off as a working cattle ranch and a uh, big game outfitting, and has evolved into a guest ranch. And um, we absolutely love this valley and love sharing it with our guests. And um, I find that the biggest compliment that people have about you know coming here in particular is just being able to disconnect. People want to experience riding horses and being in the mountains and shooting guns and you know they, they want to go back to the old west and they, they just want to feel that and experience it and um, it's just really special. One of the major things that makes our ranch unique is um, where we're located. There's a pond running by us. Oh my. <laughs> that, we have to interrupt that. That never happens. Where's its mom? That was amazing. Anyway, um, where we're located makes makes this place truly special. Um, we are completely off the grid, off the beaten path. Um, we run off of hydroelectric. You know, we make our own power, um, and you know, there's just not very many places like this. Well, an important thing as far as we're concerned, number one, this is a family operation. This is some big corporation out of Dallas or New York. Uh, we look after people the way we want to be looked after. 